Hey guys, welcome back to the Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. Today we're talking about a product that has existed in our catalog line for a little over a year now. And uh, recently we discovered a, another use for it, which I think is gonna be super beneficial for a lot of people building cars at home, especially turbo or supercharged cars. That is our uh, billet breathers. Originally, we created these to uh, solve PCV or positive crankcase ventilation issues with valve covers and valley covers on engines. We've seen people use these and put them on valve covers and uh, hook up to their vacuum pumps or just hook up to catch cans. Some people put them in their uh, valley cover. They have a really cool internal baffling system and then an external. And if you use those two in conjunction as a breather, it is bar none the best thing that is out there. Uh, no oil gets past it catch cams are virtually dry it's awesome but that's not what we're talking about today one really cool use we recently discovered if you look back on the el toro project uh, i didn't have a, a steel number 10 an weld bung and uh, we last minute kind of forgot all about uh, putting a oil drain in so we took one of these and put it right on a stamped uh, steel valve cover and it worked phenomenally. Uh, it has an integral O-ring that's built in and uses three bolts. And even on that thin Coyote um, oil pan, it worked really well. So we've been testing them on a couple applications and uh, they're pretty much applicable to everything, whether it's cast, a real thin stamped uh, steel oil pan or like this Moroso, this is a thicker version. And uh, one of the advantages that we found to them, in addition to being really easy to install, uh, you'll just use a template and uh, drill the three holes for the threaded holes here and uh, cut out the center and you have a really usable drain is that they're very low profile. So I'll hold these both on the table. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's substantially shorter because you're gonna have a straight fitting on here or you could have a 45 or whatever um, versus actually just welding a bung on there. And believe it or not, it gives you a little bit more versatility coming out this way because you can angle it a little bit easier and just stay out of the way of things. In addition to being shorter, we actually ended up redesigning this. It used to have a center post for mounting the baffling system inside of it. And we actually moved that out of the way because once we discovered how well this worked, we wanted to make sure there was nothing impeding the oil flow because as you know, if you've ever run a turbo or supercharger, getting the oil back to the pan without restriction is a huge important topic uh, that's often discussed. And if you don't do it right or you have obstructions, the oil flow can back up and cause uh, smoking issues and bearing issues and stuff like that. Not that that little post was a big deal. We weren't super worried about it, but we wanted to eliminate any of those issues. So we actually redesigned our own product to make it better for this. So you can actually see we removed this center post, which is we used, where we used to mount this baffle to and uh, moved it up into that area so that now the oil will flow directly through without having to go around or run into that post. And then the other nice thing is that how low it is, low profile it is, you can really put it anywhere. Um, you know, you can put it on the side, especially up on the top of the pan rail. Um, it's just the right size for typically just about any um, style oil pan or engine. So it works really well and it seals to almost anything having that O-ring there. So if you don't have a welder um, or you don't have a steel weld bung or an aluminum weld bung um, or don't know how or don't want to um, or don't want to mess up the finish on something, you can easily adapt this and then have a more low profile option. So might not be the perfect solution for everybody, but it's an awesome option uh, for a lot of people. So this is a number 12 ORB. So it'll work perfectly as a drain, even for a large frame turbo. Uh, we can adapt it to a number 12 AN. So 12 ORB to 12 AN is very common. You can even neck it down to 10 AN or 8 AN. Uh, 10 AN is like a real common size for a mid frame turbo or a small T4 or T3. Uh, so it really covers the whole spectrum of turbos and their oil drains that go along with them. We used to only offer these as a pair, um, being that we are gonna start doing them as oil drains, we are now uh, moving over and we offer them as singles as well. So I'll make sure to put the pair and a single um, listings in the description below 
So check those out. But the only other thing I'll say uh, you may need to find are the correct length 1032 screws because these holes are reasonably shallow uh, just for packaging needs, depending on the thickness of the casting or the sheet metal or whatever on your oil pan, you may have to find a little bit longer screw or whatever, but 1032 is very easy to find at any local hardware store. So in the end of the day, I think this is a great tool to add to our box and give you guys as an option. Uh, for oil drains and whatever other use you can find for it. It's uh, not necessarily the only uh, way to solve the problem or go about uh, running an oil drain, but it's an awesome option. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this uh, beneficial. We sure love the opportunity to have new products and new solutions for issues that you guys will encounter. Definitely drop us any ideas or comments below in the uh, comments section. We love to hear them from you guys. That's how we get ideas. That's how we uh, innovate new things and come up with new videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.